it is 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. We have the presentation of certificate to young people trained in the installations and maintenance of solar panels. Food uh, dropped on Khan Yunus in Gaza. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, this Tuesday, uh, July 16, 2024, Madam Amina Ahmed Warsama, Secretary General of the Ministry of Social Affairs Solidarity, presided over the ceremony to award certificate to young people trained in solar panel installations and maintenance. This uh, project financed by the Ministry of Social Affairs Solidarity from its own funds uh, was attended by the Secretary General uh, representatives uh, of the World Food Program and senior mass staff and representative of the institution concerned skills complemented uh, by a month uh, internship uh, with partner companies. Uh, at today's ceremony, this promising young uh, talent received their certificate of completion accompanied by uh, customized uh, kits uh, to help them successfully launch their own entrepreneurial initiatives. This milestone marks the beginning of a new era for these young people and testifies to the government's commitment to holy human capital, offering hope and new prospects uh, to vulnerable populations. For her part, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Social Affairs Solidarity said that this initiative is designed to empower vulnerable populations and foster sustainable uh, resilience uh, is uh, fully in line with investment in human capital, a key priority for long-term social and economic development. The young laureate, carefully selected from the ministry's database, uh, database uh, uh, demonstrated exceptional determination by passing the rigorous uh, admissions uh, tests that preceded their integration into the pro training program. The six months program was designed to provide essential, practical, and uh, theoretical. The inauguration is of the UNFD's uh, regional crisis center is in Tajura, a major step forward in the decentralization of the care mechanisms for victims and gender based violence in Djibouti. On July 14, 2024, the town of Tajora in the Republic of Djibouti marked by significant uh, a step forward in the fight against gender-based violence uh, with the inauguration of the regional branch of the UNFD for the care of victims in partnership with the USAID proje project. This event is part of a wider initiative to decentralize uh, support services uh, in the country's five interior regions, demonstrating a strong commitment to the protection and support of uh, gender-based violence victims. Uh, the reoperation of the regional offices is intended to compensate uh, for the lack of local care mechanisms, thus facilitating access to the necessary help and improving the reliability of uh, diagnosis, uh, particularly for sexual violences. The opening ceremony of the Tajara Regional Offices was attended by the leading figures, including the Secretary General of the Ministry of Women and Family, Anissa Hassan Badon, Fatuma Musa, and Daher Meroni, USA Deputy Project Manager. Their presence underlined the importance of this initiative for the government and its partner in the fight against gender based violence. The regional authority of the re region is uh, said that the opening of these uh, regional offices uh, represent a crucial step uh, towards the decentralization of services for gender-based victims. Uh, this initiative is made possible by USAID support for civil society engagement project. It is essential to strengthen protection and support for victims. The collaborations of all stakeholders is crucial to ensure the success of this initiative and contribute to the fight against gender-based violence in all regions of the Djibouti. For her part, the uh, Secretary General of the Ministry of Women and Family, Anissa Hassan Bahadun, 
said that this event in Tujura is a tangible proof of the commitment of the Djibouti authorities and their international partners to create a safe and supportive uh, environment for victims of violence. Uh, it is a significant step forward that promises to transform the lives of many women and strengthen the resilience of, lo <coughs> of local community in the face of this scourge. As part of the Play to Learn project funded by USAID and implemented by Mac, uh, MacDonald, the Cambridge Education State UNFT has uh, launched a series of training sessions for parents in second phases of the project. The aim, of, uh, the aim was uh, to conduct the parents' education sessions through educational talks based on the guide and modules developed by the Play to learn a project. This, this series of uh, training sessions began in the Dekhil region on July 13 and 14 and aims to increase uh, parents' knowledge and skills in integrated early childhood uh, development, st stimulation, uh, emotional care, health care, nutrition, protection, early learning. Encourage parents' involvement in monitoring their children's school lives, uh, increase uh, community involvement actions and make parents understand the importance of preschool education, including EIBS. Under the edges of the State Secretary for Sports, the collective of the leaders of for the development uh, launched the fourth edition of the Intercommunal Peace and Friendship Tournament at the Stade King Fad yesterday, July 15. The this tournament is organized with, uh, every year by the collective uh, of the municipal president at the lunch ceremony where the vice, pre the vice president of the Bulaos Commune, Mr. Ali Adawa, known as Lukita, and Balbala Commune, Suleiman Ali, the Honorable Deputy Kamil Hummada, the, the, the Member of Parliament, Mohammed Musa, local elected officials from the capital civil society player and the representative of the state secretary for sports. The Super Cup match pitted the, the neighborhood six team from the commune of Pulaos against the Pika 12 team from the commune of Palbala. In the end, the Pika 12 team won the match by a score of two, three to zero. The, this was uh, followed by an award ceremony for the winners of the Super Cup the PK12 team and a presentation of certificate of merit to those who had distinguished themselves in the organizations of the fourth editions of Intercommun Peace and Friendship Tournament. That the aim of this summer activity is to rally young people around the values of peace, but it is also a means of combating drugs and juvenile delinquency. The organizers warmly thank the State Secretary for Sports, His Excellency Hassan Mohamed Kamil, for his support in Stegen and the President of the Djiboutian Football Federation. For the international scene in Gaza, food had dropped uh, on Khan Yunus uh, in the skies over Gaza. Planes uh, are distributing food two days after a strike and killed at least 19 people including children, according to the Hamas government's Ministry of Health. The food was uh, dropped from the air over uh, the Khan Yunus refugee camp, uh, about two kilometers from the coast north of Rafah, and transported by truck. These uh, aerial supplies are contested by certain humanitarian organizations who question their effectiveness near the camp. The al area came under Israeli fires on Saturday, this area between Rafah and Khan Yunus had been declared a humanitarian uh, zone by Israel, and the UN estimated by that more than uh, 40 million tons of uh, debris now litter to Gaza Strip. Uh, the international organization predicted this, that uh, 500 and 600 million dollars need to rebuild. For the, in uh, Rwanda elections, Paul uh, Kachana leads uh, with uh, 99. Uh, percent uh, of the vote uh, in Rwanda, the provisional results of the presidential and legislative election is uh, put Paul Kagame well ahead. Unsurprisingly, the incumbent president is already credited with the 99.15 percent of the vote, according to provisional figures from the electoral authorities the day after the double 
ballots held on Monday. This is better than 98% uh, recorded for the previous presidential election. However, this uh, figure is uh, related uh, to 79% of the ballot counted and the final results are expected on July 27. This uh, plebiscite confirms the extreme popularity of the 66 years old who has been in power for 24 years. The head of the Rwandan Patriotic Front is back for a fourth term, fourth term at the head of this East African country. And this is it for the news. Thanks for watching us. Have a good uh, evening.